Hello, howdy folks. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. I know it's been a while, guys. Uh, life has just been crazy. Let's let it run right now. We're waiting for daytime here. I'm helping uh, some family move, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff to move, a lot of driving, a lot of tired days, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be recording a bunch of Battle Brothers today and rendering them throughout the week, I think. And then next week, I think it's, let's see, today is the 13th, so the week, the weekend after this one that I'm currently recording on, uh, I'll probably end up doing some more moving, which should be the final stretch. So I might not be able to record that weekend either. So, you know, hang with it. I'm going to re release as many episodes as I can. I really appreciate the comments asking me for more. I like it. And uh, yeah, without further ado here, it's been a few days. So let's, um, let's take stock here. We've got a lot of goblins we're going after, including an overseer. So I like, I like shooting goblins to death, especially an overseer because the overseer is the first one to run when things start going wrong. And I want to be able to shoot him down. Same with the skirmishers. They just run around poisoning your guys and you can't get to them. So arrows, Seem to be a great way to uh, get them uh, nice and dead for us. Let's see, Hack in here. Ooh, he's about to hit level 10. So we've got Leonard over here, Alfred, Hammond. I don't think we need so much on the hammers for goblins. Yeah, let's take both our hammers out and sub in Alfred and Leonard. Thelman, I would get him in here to train, but he's too slow. I don't think he could actually catch goblins. But this way, we're ready for against arrows. We have swords. I mean, a noble sword could cut a goblin to pieces for the most part. And Leonard with his... Yeah, he's, he's just the hammer guy. Okay, I'm starting to remember what's going on here. All right. Halston with the bill hook. I suppose the bill hook will be all right. It's got the, it's got the um, durability. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's just go with this one. Everyone seems to be ready. I'm like nervous because I hate fighting goblins and I haven't played for a while, so I do not want to screw this up. But uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. It shouldn't be. So let's get in there and find out what we're looking at. A goblin overseer. That crossbow is nasty. Okay, five archers. Looks like, uh, who is that? Duke get shot in the head. Wow, three out of four shots were hits there. I can't say I like that. And he's already got 20 fatigue. All right, Ingolf, what can you do? 32% chance. I don't think I want to do that. Yep, okay, that overseer's going to town. And I think it's our turn for the most part. 12, 14, 16. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and start moving everyone up here. I think I want to close the gap really fast. Let's let's kind of shift down. There he is. Look at that crossbow. Holy cow. Oh! Magnus? Oh, that was Wolf. Okay. Well, I'll take it, Wolf. Nice shot. Let's step Rainer up uh, here. Keep shooting at him. Oh, wow. Well, this is starting to go our way, that's for sure. And I think everyone else is going to pretty much sprint forward here. Let's see, Hacken's a back line, so let's get him. Yeah, right there is going to be great. Magnus. 
Yeah, we'll go here, and then we'll take another shot over here. Wow! Talk about a little bit of, um... I guess we'll call it beginner's luck, because I, I feel like I'm just a noob again after a couple of days of not playing. Let's get Ike over here, of course. Yeah, these goblins better be, uh... Better beware, I think. They better beware. Let's get Alfred on in there, okay. Kettleman, great. One last little arrow. Wow, Duke is just eating those arrows like nothing. There goes the nets. Oh boy, that's a lot of nets. Some spear walls, all right. Throwing all sorts of garbage at us. All right, let's get Ingolf on up here. And we'll take our shot. Wow. This first round for archers on both sides has been productive. Can Indomitable break? Let's see, immune to being stunned, knocked back, or grabbed. I have a feeling that grab might be... I don't know. Seems like it could be... Trapped in net. I don't know. We'll, we'll just wait, and next turn we'll try and shake it off like normal. Okay, a lot of arrows point blank. Looks like they're trying to shoot at Ingolf there or something. But as long as the arrows don't poison us, they're not going to hurt at all. This guy, oh god, I, I don't want to see what kind of damage he's going to do. Look at all this trash they're throwing at us, these jerks. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and reload here with Wolf. Oh! That hits Ejo, but he's okay. Let's take some more. Oh. Wow, we might actually get this guy. I really hope we do. I want that crossbow. I want that crossbow. Okay, let's wait with these bros. Well, these ones can step up. So let's get Halston up and ready for the next turn. Ike? I think I can do it. Oh. Let's try it one more time. Ike, come on. There we go. Yeah, he's fine. Let's see, that's Kettleman. Leonard, you've got 34 on the defense. Kettleman has 50. I want to close the gap, but I don't think Leonard's going to have the best luck moving up against uh, these skirmishers. So let's get him down there. And Kettleman, you can move here. Or, come on, Kettleman. Come on, Kettleman. Wow. 50 melee defense. Okay. Ejo breaks three. Of course, Ejo can move, can uh, bridge that gap there for us. Alfred, yeah, he's having some trouble. What about Duke? Duke's out. Let's get him in there. Great. And Hacken, I want you right here. That's perfect. All right. Now they're going to do some damage, I think. They're going to get out their daggers and stuff, and it's going to be scary for a second. Because they can really give it to uh, some of your guys with a couple of punctures. Oh, see? Like, just like that. Duke is almost dead. Just like that. Wow, Duke is in serious trouble over there. All right. Let's go after this Overseer before he kills Duke. Wolf doesn't have the... Oh, man. Let's just get... Um, let's get Wolf just up here. He's too poisoned to be able to... Oh, okay. Well, that's better than shooting at Duke. We're taking some damage here. All right. So let's go with the old Warsythe. One hit. Alright, Halston, get on in there. 
22% is awful. Let's keep throwing some arrows in. Oh, a headshot. Almost got him. Magnus. And now Ike. Well, we got the one in the back. I actually hope to get the one in the front more than anything. Okay, Alfred can move in to save Duke here. Let's go ahead and clobber that goblin. Alfred. Let's see. Done, 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 done. Ah, uh, you know what. Let's just rotate Duke. I was going to try and attack with Duke, but I want all his AP to get him as far away from the fight as possible because these daggers, you have to be very careful. You can't just like wade into a bunch of goblins and, and think that uh, your heavy armor is going to save you. Let's get Kettleman right here. Let's taunt the Overseer. And Ejil. There goes one. Okay, I think we're ready for the next round. The Goblin music is a lot of fun. I like it. It's a good, good song. Okay. Oh, dear. They're all grouped up. This leaves an opportunity for Leonard to get on that Overseer. Sort of. Oh, yeah. See, he's already going to try and get out of here, it looks like. Ingolf, let's close in here with you. we got to kill that Overseer more than anything. Let's reload with Magnus. Yeah, we're not quite in range, are we? Let's, uh, let's just go in there. Nope. Halston? Ugh. These guys are really hard to hit. Rainer, let's get over here. Yes. No. <laughs> All right, wolf reloads. Hacken, if we could kill this, that would be just great. Nope. Well, we can't quite get to him. We're going to have to cross through someone's path here. Leonard? There we go. We got to get... We just have to chase this guy down. Let's strike through. Well, we killed the one behind again. Kettlemans. These damn goblins. It's hard to hit. Alfred's going to start moving up as well. Duke... Just keep running. Stay far from goblins. Ejil, why don't we recover with you? Wow, we are like super tired. And we haven't really fought much. God, we are taking too many hits. Alright, Engulf. One hit. All right, Wolf. I will take it. I'm, I'll just take that. Magnus, reload. Can we get more bolts in there? Great. Rainer. Oh. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, totally worth it. Totally worth it. That guy is down now. Let's get Eagle up here. Have they all... Yeah, they're all done. Alright, let's just close in here and club them all down. Bonk. Ike. Two more. Kettlemond. Let's sort of recover or something. Let's get Alfred over here. We'll get Wolf up there and housed in here. Punk is trying to get away. OK, 
Can we just... No. There we go. Okay. Well, it was pretty poorly played, if you ask me. But I wanted to charge in and get that Overseer. Because um, I, I really want that crossbow, and we, we totally got it. Wow. That's a big score. It's totally worth it. Normally, I like to just shoot it out with goblins because these little bows are very ineffective against us at this point in the game, so I'd rather shoot it out for them, but I wanted to get someone on that overseer uh, in melee if it if it came down to it. We were going to get him this turn if we didn't get a million lucky shots on him. But, yeah, that's awesome. That is super awesome. All right, Magnus, look at you. Boom. Look at that cannon. Look at this cannon. Lovely. That's going to go... Look at that. It's huge. It's as big as he is. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hacking level 10. Let's go with that fatigue and that resolve and... Hang on, do you, you don't have anticipation or anything like that? You're mostly for fighting undead anyway, so I guess you don't really need. Yeah, okay. Just like that. Boom, 112. That's pretty good for just a regular old apprentice, that's for sure. Now, what were we planning on taking with him? I think, um, uh, excuse me, I think, I think I want to do gifted just so we can get even more resolve. I mean, it's just, that's just great. Since that's literally his only role in the, in the company is, is just having more and more resolve. All right then. Why don't we just sit hacking out and put in Karsten because he's a little bummed out that he's not, he doesn't have time to play. Duke, you're done. Let's uh, put in Jost. Now, Duke is, that was close. He almost got just like killed in a single round. Yep. He's, uh, he's just out of this uh, current adventure that we're on here, isn't he? Okay. Other than that, nothing special. So why don't we go, let's see, how far away we've got. Plenty of food. I kind of want to like poke around down here a little bit. So let's let's head on down. We'll head into the hills and, and see what we can spot. Not a whole lot. What is this? Knight's Axe Hills. Oh, interesting. I think those are orc foot, footprints. Holy cow. Wait, what, what was that? Some goblin ambushers, many goblin skirmishers, a overseer, a shaman, and some wolf riders. Wow. I would like to do that, but we're behind on repairs. Are we? Yeah, okay, Egil. Wow, how did Egil get... I guess he just got hit with range stuff like a million times. We'll probably take tower or kite shields for the next goblin fight. So that's definitely a destination I want to hit at some point. What's this? Unexpected sight. Oh, this guy's going to try and fly? Uh, we should tell him he'll hurt himself if he does. Okay, well, I guess we saved that guy's life. Great. Let's continue going on down here. There's probably goblins running around out here. Just a bunch of wolf riders. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Looks like they're coming for us. Alright, so I guess... We might not have a choice to fight these. Let's get Thilman in instead of Egil.
And I guess that's actually all we need to do. Fifteen wolf riders. I'm sure we can handle it. I'm sure we can handle it. Boy, we've almost we've fought so few goblins in this uh, in this series that this is kind of refreshing. Even though I hate goblins a lot. Look at all these damn dogs going everywhere. Oh yeah, yo yeah. Okay, so we're gonna want to take shots at the stuff that's flanking us because they're gonna move around and behind us. That's not a great way to start. Okay, Karsten, let's get started over here. There's a kill. Wow. Give it the old one too, that's for sure. There was a good hit. Let's get out the axe. No. Alright, Magnus. Boom! <laughs> oh, ouch! That was awesome. Let's reload that sucker. Halston? Okay. Ike? Alright. Oh, yeah, bad doggy. Let's block this one with Leonard. That one's down. Yep. This is going about as, you know, as bad as badly as I thought. <laughs> Let's bush that one. Oh, Thelman. And I guess we're done with this round. I wouldn't be surprised if they start making a run for it earlier than is expected. Yeah, that one's... he's going for it, isn't he? Alright, Engulf, they're getting closer. There we go. Another one down. Wolf, let's get that crossbow out again now that they're closer. Can we shoot that one? Nice. He's down. Rainer. Couple of hits there. Karsten. Not, not quite what I wanted, but that's alright. Magnus. Damn. Let's just reload. Just, uh, okay. 75, 77, oh, that looked like it hurt. And Houston, nope. We can hurt that one a bit though. Leonard, finish it off. Well, you got the rider at least. That one's dead. Ike. Oh, okay. Let's get Thilman behind here. Like that. That should discourage any of these uh, goblins from, you know, thinking they're clever. They're gonna move in all over Karsten, I would guess. Karsten's actually not happy. Ah, oh, look at that. He like footwork to make room for that one. Fascinating. Let's wait with Ingolf. Wow, we're taking shots. That's for sure. All right, let's get our axe out here. Wolf, can you, uh... Hey, that'll work. He's running. Let's get out the axe with Rainer here. 48%. That's really not good. That's a kill, though. Nope. Karsten. Yeah, let's go with 70% and 60%. No. Magnus. Let's shoot that one. And get out the axe and see if we can kill it. Yes, we can. That wolf is dead with Ike and we're totally free up here now.
Now let's get Rainer out of there with Alfred. Let's see. Let's switch Karsten as well. There we go. Alfred's in position. And we'll just kill these pups. 73. That's a guaranteed kill. Leonard. Yeah, let's get you up in that gap. Oh, that one actually broke. I wasn't expecting that. Let's do another swing here. There we go. That one can't get away anymore. Ingolf. Didn't quite make those point blank shots, did he? All right. Looks like we're going to take a couple more shots here. That one's going to try and get away. Ingolf, no survivors. Let's try it. There's a, there's a start. Let's kill that one. Sorry, I got like a text message. I was looking at my phone. Um, looks like every sometimes the the wolves like hide on the on the bodies, and you can't quite see them because they're they're just as dark. But it looks clear to me. So let's move in here with Ike and Magnus. Oh, that's a hit. Let's get in here with Halstein. Another kill with Rainer. Great. Karsten, how about a little bit of revenge? There we go. Let's, can we chase this down? Yes, we can. No survivors. Well, we broke him. I guess I should have recovered, uh, ideally. It's over. Oops. Wrong button, but, uh, whatever. Three ranks. And a lot of falchions. Okay, those sell for, uh, a decent amount. They sell for a decent amount. We're chewing through our tools, of course, though. All right, Leonard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That melee defense leaves a lot to be desired, though. I don't like the way that's going. That's a max roll on the health, on the health, yeah, hit points. So let's take that. 78, that's pretty good. We could probably leave it like that. Is it time for duelist is what I want to know. Is it time for duelist? Yeah, I suppose so. Great. Oh, that's pretty fancy stuff there. Pretty fancy stuff there. We'll keep him on the shield and then, um, let's see, let's get rid of his net. That way he can put the shield away in his inventory. Oh, he's going to be amazing with a dagger too. So we'll, we'll keep a shield out. Or I guess it'll depend. Sometimes we'll start with it in our inventory. Other times we'll start with it out, depending on who we go up against. Halston. Yeah, we're going we're going this direction for sure. He's supposed to be Karsten 2.0. Footwork is probably something we want to get with you right away. In case something goes totally wrong. Looks great. He might, he might, uh... Well, let's be honest here. It's going to be really hard to be another Cal Karsten, but... We'll see. Magnus, level 11, boom, boom. Between the fatigue and the range defense, I think I'll go with the range defense. 68 fatigue is pretty decent considering he's wearing some pretty heavy stuff there. 
So that'll keep away all sorts of nasties that we don't want. So what do we want to do with him? I guess we could take Brawny so he could wear... I mean, we'll just get more fatigue out of it. We do have the Fearsome. There is Killing Frenzy. But to be quite honest, I'm not sure how often the crossbows actually kill someone versus just kind of maiming them. Or at least repeatedly enough to make Killing Frenzy like last for like a long time instead of just it pops once. Mags and belts, nah. I think there's something to be said for recovery. Especially when you're trying to like break through a lot of skeleton shields, busting and recover could be very useful. Magnus, he's he's already the complete package. So whatever I pick, he's he's already done. If you ask me, so. Well, overwhelm. He only shoots once, so it's not it's not that amazing. Let's go with recovery. Then again, pathfinder. Well, I would think Pathfinder on a more dedicated archer would be better. Let's go with Recover. Crossbowmen do tend to get tired when they're when fights get pretty nasty and everyone's swinging with the long axes and running around trying to maneuver and stuff. So that seems like a good idea to me. So how are we doing on armor here? Everyone's just taking a lot of shots, but... See, we've got 240 on Egil here. Why don't we just bust that out? We'll take that home with us and, and pay for a repair so we don't eat our tools up in the field. That coat of scales has been mutilated as well. Let's just put on one of those for Karsten instead. I, I really want to just save tools so that we can stay out here longer looking for loot. Okay, let's go down here. Let's find out what's in here, huh? Something exciting, I think. I have to sip my coffee here while we do that, so I'll be quiet. A great goblin city nested in the remains of an ancient fortress, protected by dark and tower. Ooh, this, I think this is like a really nasty, nasty, nasty place. That's like endgame stuff right there. Probably, probably better not to stand right next to it, too. Can we see anything in there in the daytime? Let's go up in the mountains. A shaman and a bunch more goblins are over there. We can't we can't even see what's in there. It's probably extremely nasty. Extremely nasty. We're we're all repaired though. Let's um I think we'll do this grinding knife camp. Many ambushers, some skirmishers, and a shaman. I'm really hoping we get some sort of unique item sooner or later. I mean, we're like the edge of the map's right here. We can't we can't go over any more. And this is the whole explorer zone. I bet you the black monolith is like right over here or right down here somewhere. There's a lot to explore down there as well. But Okay, so let's outfit for this. Many ambushers, some skirmishers. 
So what I'm definitely thinking is we want protection, oops, against arrows. Let's get Eidril in there. The heavy weapons aren't as useful against goblins because you usually kill them very quickly anyway. All right, is there anyone who wants to stand in on this one? Hammond? See, Halston's had a couple of battles, so why don't we get Hammond in now? We're training Hammond up to be something. We don't we don't really know yet, but it seems like with iron lungs and massive defense stats, it seems like he should be able to be something. We've got our shooters, Rainer. You're you're looking okay. We're gonna shoot it out with them this time. Yeah, we're definitely going to shoot it out with them this time. What is it going to look like if we give Joss the shield and the hammer? So Joss could just stand there and, and absorb arrows for a while. I think that'll work for this one, for this one thing. We're going to definitely shoot it out with them because I hate getting in there and then getting like someone gets shanked to death really fast. I don't know. We'll take a look. We could always just drop the shield. It's not a big deal. I'm feeling I'm feeling like tried doing weird stuff. Oh, uh, before we go in here, I just want to mention this before I, for, uh, before I forget. Uh, some people have requested additional characters. So I have someone who wants to have a bro named Fritzy and he wants to be an archer. And then uh, we have another guy who wants to be Gaudron. And I guess it's up in the air, whatever he could be. Um, if we end up getting a bro who's got some decent stats, then then we'll go ahead and, and uh, name one of those bros. So we are on the lookout for two new bros. I surfed through all the recent comments, and I think that was that was it. If there's if there's anyone that I missed there, just uh, let me know. All right, so we got a shaman, some skirmishers, and many ambushers. I haven't fought a shaman personally before, but I think they just kind of do like AOE net attacks, I think. It's probably going to be really annoying. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. There's... Is there any land? Okay, there's some land. Alright, so what does this actually do? Oh, wow. That's dangerous stuff. But they're all trapped in the swamps as well. It costs 4 AP and 15 fatigue to get out. 32% chance to succeed. Oh god, no. Alright, let's just start taking some shots. Alright. I'm not going to complain with any hits whatsoever. Gotta get some kills here, that's for sure. If we can kill their range units, they're gonna have to like slog it all the way over to us and that's gonna be really bad news for them. 62% from Magnus. Ah, oh, I thought I thought that was the golden bolt, but I guess not. I suppose we should be breaking free just to piss off the shaman. I suppose. All right, sure. Look at Joss over here with a shield. What a goofball. Come on, Ike. There you go. Definitely don't want to be taking more penalties than we already are. Yeah, these kite shields are a great idea. Oh, wolf gets nailed. But for the most part, we're blocking all these arrows as opposed to the last time when we just ate arrows all day. Yep, that goblin's doing his goblin-y thing. Alright, wolf. Oh! Do the poison limit your vision too? Oh, it does. Amazing. 
Well, let's just break free. And Rainer, has any one of these been hit yet? Does not look like it. Oh, so close. One more Rainer. Goal! But not, not, not the best. Seems like a waste of one of Magnus's bolts. So let's go over here. Yeah, that's exactly why. All right, Ingolf. 49% no survivors. Great. Oh yeah, they're they're totally breaking. Yeah, I like shooting it out with the goblins. It's always preferable if you ask me. If you have good archers anyway. Alright, we're breaking free of all the vines. No problem. And they're going to start booking it pretty soon. Alright, Rainer, let's... 46% uh, chance. 13 turns, 7 turns. So Ingolf is going to have a couple of attempts at him first. So let's just put our arrows, you know what, no, let's, let's use our, our crappy bow on him, or not. Wolf still can't see. Break free of all these bushes. Good lord, this is like, absurd. Might as well, it is a kill if we hit him. There we go. Definitely bums out his buddies. Let's just keep waiting. Let's see, Magnus is out of range. That one's gone. They're probably all going to start clearing out soon, I would think. I hope so, because I do not want to have to slog through the swamp while getting... Uh, Vined by this thing, it's gonna take forever and ever. All right, that's it. Well, they're still trying to shoot it out with us. That's not gonna work. Oh, are they coming at us? It looks like they're determined. We can get a shot with Wolf. Oh, that hurts. Let's start positioning. Very tempting to shoot that goblin. In fact, it's too tempting. There we go. There we go. Joss is free, Egil. Sweet, let's take a step. Not quite in range of Magnus. So let's just kill him. Yep, that does it, doesn't it? Alright, Ingolf. I believe. There it is. <laughs> oh, Ingolf. 40% down range in the head? No? Oh. I thought he might be able to follow that up with some more heroics. Leonard gets free. Good. Let's start scooting down over here. Now that we're not uh, under the influence of the shaman anymore. We'll just kind of move up with Wolf there a bit. Wow, these are some brave goblins. Or they're stupid. It's probably it's probably that they're stupid, I, I would think. More coffee, hang on. That looks like a good shot to me. Oh, got him. Let's get up here with Hammond. Let's just wait with Karsten. Ike, that looks like something you would do. Eagle, sure. Let's get Jost moving. Ingolf, that's a good shot. Boom. 
Let's try and break out of the vines with you now. Leonard. Yep. This battle is definitely over. Let's go after him with Rainer. Nice shot from Rainer there. Can we do two for two? Not quite. We're just out of shot with Magnus. It looks like we're not going to be able to get free either. Oh, that's too bad. Now they're bugging out of here. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Ooh, careful with that knife. I hate those things. Let's reload with Wolf. No, nope, it's not going to happen. Ingolf? No survivors. Ingolf downtown? No. Hammond does a little bit of damage before Ike misses. Ijo's going to see if he can catch this one before he gets away, but it seems unlikely. Yeah, it's just, it's not going to happen. Can we get this one? Yes, we can. Okay, let's, let's just, we'll do the old, it's over. I don't want to chase these. It's over. It's definitely over. Hammond gains a level for hitting that goblin once. Awesome. Nothing special, though. Nothing special. Okay. How many tools did we use? Yeah, barely any. So we're, we're good to go here still. Why don't we take Hammond's level? Yes. Yes, so much yes on that. We're obviously going to take that and... Wow, this is apparently a really good level. He rolled max on, I think, everything. I think, uh, oh, the fatigue though. That's actually really good fatigue considering what he's wearing. So I think we can skip the fatigue this one level because we did roll max on resolve. And I want to take that. I guess we'll go with Colossus. It's too good. Boom, there it is. We don't need to take any health anymore for the most part. And that uh, skips the weapon tier, so we'll be able to get, you know, underdog and all that uh, all that necessary stuff soon. That's great. Okay. Why don't we go poking around down here? What are these? Ghouls? Puppers? What do we have here? A goblin overseer, a shaman, many skirmishers, and some ambushers. In the middle of a forest. Oh, you know what? What if what if these are lindworms? These could be lindworms. I don't even know what like fighting a lindworm sounds really scary, but I want to follow these tracks now, actually. Ooh, big goblin army though. Are the goblins also following the Lindworms? Is that what's going on? No, they're split off right here. We're right behind these goblins. I don't like that at all. Yeah, they're coming towards us, it looks like. Some ambushers and many wolf fighters. That's actually not scary if they catch us. Fine, if not. Yeah, these are with... They have to be Lindworms. They have to be. I want to see what happens if we fight them. I know they're nasty. But let's at least see how many of them there are before we... Nope, those are ghouls. Oh, are these... Are they the... Is it the same thing? Did they loop around right here? They did. Son of a... Two ghouls? What are they doing out here? Oi, oi, oi. Well, damn it. 
Well, there's goblins in a forest. That sounds like a, a potential nightmare, though. What are the goblins over here? Oh, is this something we could do? That seemed like endgame stuff as well. Some ambush in office. You know, actually, we might be able to do that. Defensible outpost. We just did the same thing in a swamp. We're going to have to shoot it out with them for a while, I think. I think we're going to have to do that. I mean, it looks like we're just ready to jump in there, aren't we? Okay, I guess I guess we're just gonna jump in. I feel like I have to prepare for it, but I, I we've been fighting goblins for a while, and this is just what we've been doing. Wow, Leonard is. He's a bit of a badass, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. You know what? This is this is about episode length. And this battle is probably going to take a little while. So, I think we're going to have to save this for next episode. Sorry, guys. I hate doing that to you. But it's going to probably be like this when we're wandering out here for extended times. You know, we're, we're just fighting stuff. But this is going to take quite a while, I think. So I don't want like an hour and a half episode. And I don't think you do either. So yeah, welcome back to Battle Brothers. Sorry, I know it's been like, God, it's been like a week and a half, two weeks since we did a Battle Brothers. So I'm sorry about it, but I hope you enjoyed it. We went around killing goblins and it was a lot of fun. So join me next time while we kill even more goblins and have even more fun. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.